welcome to our report from Parliament's plenary session in Brussels. In February, we published a report on new legislation aiming to strengthen consumer rights. The proposals by German MEP Andreas Schwab were adopted in plenary today. The most important element is that we start having an EU-wide set of rules that will be applicable to all consumer contracts wherever you shop in the European Union. You will have a withdrawal right of 14 days starting with the delivery of the good that you have purchased. We will have transparency for prices and for rights of consumers. They have to be informed on beforehand, before signing the contract, before commanding the good. A day before the European Council was due to give its formal approval, MEPs gave their green light to a treaty change required to implement a permanent stability mechanism. The amendment was approved when Parliament received assurances that the new mechanism would be tied to existing EU structures. In an opinion prepared by Elmar Brock, Parliament had called for the text of the change to further clarify the role of the Commission in the mechanism and how it is implemented and monitored. Mr Brock warned against the dangers of not involving the European institutions in its management and also recalled the need to open the mechanism to member states whose currency is not the euro from the outset. We need to look at the weaknesses of the intergovernmental approach. It means no or barely any parliamentary dimension, and it means inability to act in a number of areas because of calls for unanimity. This is why the Monet method of the community approach is more legitimate, and it enables us to take more effective action. The treaty change was approved by MEPs after Mr Brock received two letters from Council President Herman van Rompuy and from Jean-Claude Juncker, Eurogroup President, and Commissioner Olli Rehn. The letters set out in detail how the involvement of EU institutions would be integrated in the structure of the new mechanism. That's all from Brussels. We'll be back with the latest from Strasbourg on the 7th of April. To keep up to date in the meantime, visit our website, eppgroup.eu. See you in April.